South China Morning Post, 14th of May 2023, Can China and Canada Control Their Most Recent Disagreement After Expelling Diplomats? According to observers, China's decision to expel a Canadian envoy was a message to Ottawa not to inflame the conflict between the two nations. However, Canada must take more significant action to counter Chinese influence. As a reciprocal countermeasure for the expulsion of Zhao Wei, a Toronto-based diplomat accused of aiding intelligence agencies and intimidating a Canadian lawmaker and his family, the Chinese Foreign Ministry last week declared Jennifer Lin Lalonde, who was based at the consulate in Shanghai, persona non grata. Beijing has referred to the claims as unfounded and politically driven, and the Canadian government has pledged to take additional action against foreign interference if required. Chang Jiayin, an associate professor of political science at the National University of Singapore, claims that China's reciprocal response revealed that the country attempted to manage escalation. The tit-for-tat is, I think, to signal to Ottawa that Beijing is serious and can bring more pressure to bear should Ottawa decide to pursue the matter, the man added. Beijing could respond more vehemently should investigations, by Canada, result in other administrative and judicial processes. The former Prime Minister of Australia, Scott Morrison, called for an investigation into the origins of COVID-19 in 2020, which led to several official and unofficial bans on Australian imports, including coal and lobster. Chang cited this as an example of how China used trade restrictions against nations that had upset it. China is a significant importer of products, including coal and canola, and is Canada's second-largest trading partner after the United States. According to Statistics Canada, total trade between the two nations increased to around 130 billion Canadian dollars, 96 billion US dollars, in 2022. Postdoctoral research scholar at the China Institute at the University of Alberta, Shui Yi said the reciprocal expulsion shows that Beijing wants to prevent the dispute from moving beyond the diplomatic arena and harming areas like trade while cautioning Canada to be self-restrained. He claimed that Beijing wanted revenge on Ottawa and forced it to resume their usual, mutually beneficial relationship. But can have a detrimental knock-on effect on China. Although Justin Trudeau, the Prime Minister of Canada, declared that he would not be intimidated, both parties have so far abstained from taking actions that could intensify the conflict and have adopted what outside observers call a moderate tone. Foreign Minister Melanie Jolie said the decision was reached after careful consideration of all the factors at play after Zhao was expelled following allegations in an intelligence assessment that he had attempted to attack conservative lawmaker Michael Cheung. Wang Wenbin, a spokesman for the Chinese Foreign Ministry stated that Beijing would only take additional measures if Canada decides to continue its behavior. A specialist in international relations from Nanjing University named Zhu Feng said he saw little sign that either side wanted to exacerbate the conflict. He added that he did not anticipate things to go as terribly as they did during the Meng Wanzhou incident. In December 2018, shortly after the Huawei executive was held in Canada based on a U.S. warrant, China jailed two Canadians, Michael Spaver, and Michael Kovrig on suspicion of spying. Meng was permitted to return to China after striking a deal with U.S. prosecutors in September 2021, and the pair were freed. According to Zhu, the main job right now is to encourage communication between the two parties. But in light of repeated allegations of Chinese meddling in Canadian internal affairs, Trudeau has been under increasing pressure to take stricter measures against China. Zhu has cautioned the administration against being hijacked by domestic pressure. A non-binding proposal mandating the federal government to expel any Chinese diplomat accused of affronts to Canadian democracy was approved by all opposition parties on Monday. In addition, a special rapporteur designated by Trudeau will soon decide whether to open a public investigation into information obtained through leaks from Canada's spy agency suggesting China meddled in the nation's most recent elections. According to Chung of the National University of Singapore, more evidence of Chinese meddling in Canada or elsewhere will only increase skepticism. He claimed that such low trust conditions made mistakes more likely. However, despite the significance of communication, the various parties are less motivated to do so because of their shared anxieties.